हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू गो वीएम लैब अ बिगिनर्स गाइड टू वी स्क्वायर ट्रबल शूटिंग इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट बेसिक एंड कॉमन नेटवर्किंग इशू हैव बीन ऑब्जर्व मेनी टाइम्स ड्यूरिंग ईएसएक्सआई डिप्लॉयमेंट आई एम श्योर यू माइट हैव कम अक्रॉस विद दिस नेटवर्किंग इशू ड्यूरिंग योर डे टू डे ऑपरेशन एज वेल सो लेट्स गो एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दैट इशू इज एग्जैक्टली ऑल अबाउट इट एंड हाउ डू यू गो एंड मिटिगेट दैट काइंड ऑफ इशू So let's go and try to access our ESXi host. Our ESXi host DNS name as sa esxi zero one dot go vm lab dot local. So that's the DNS name of our ESXi host. So let's go and try to press the enter key. Now, if you do notice that it's taking a while to load our ESXi host client page. So there seems to be some issue with this ESXi connectivity. And look at that. it clearly says that the site cannot be reached your sa esxi 01.govmlab.local has taken too long time to respond it what does that mean it means that we have to go and check out the network reachability of our esxi host so the very first test what we are going to do just to make sure that is that a issue with the esxi host client or is that a issue with our esxi host itself so what we are going to do from this desktop where we are trying to access this browser we are going to go and generate the ping traffic so let's log into our command prompt and let's do the ping to our esxi host sa esxi 01.govmlab.local press the enter key and look at that in fact the ping traffic doesn't seem to be working and it clearly tells us that destination host unreachable now what does that mean it means that it doesn't seem to be a issue with our esxi host client but it seems to be a issue with our esxi host networking itself because we are not able to communicate from our uh, desktop to our esxi host so how do we go and start troubleshooting that particular issue so to troubleshoot these kind of issues we really need to log into our esxi console so let's go and check out the esxi host console so as you could see that now this is our base esxi host esxi01.govmlab.local and on top of this esxi host i am actually running sa esxi01.govmlab.local as a vm or esxi as a vm so that's a nested lab environment so let me show you again as you could see that this is our base esxi host and i am running bunch of virtual machine on this base esxi host and that's where we have a esxi running as a virtual machine as you rightly see it so let's go and try to access the console of our esxi host so click on that host click on console click on open browser console and i am sure you would be familiar with this ui and this ui is being called our dc ui console so now press the control f2 key let's provide the password of our esxi host now if you do see that this is our dc ui console of our esxi host and that is our sa esxi 01 now if you do see that what it says that waiting for dscp and you do see the warning message right here it says that dscp lookup has failed you may be unable to access this system until you customize its network configuration so now this error message now this error message tells us very clearly that dscp lookup has failed which means that this esxi host was configured to receive the ip address from our dscp server but somehow our dscp server is not able to allocate dscp ip to this esxi host and that is the reason this esxi host is not able to participate in a network because it does not have any valid ip so now let's go and try to understand that why this esxi host did not get the ip address so for that what we are going to do we are first going to go and log into our dcui console so let's log into our dcui console by providing the password to our root user let's provide the right password and now as you could see that this that is our dcy console troubleshooting section now let's go and check out the management network and if you look at the management network look at the ipv4 configuration and you do see that it is configured to use dynamic ipv4 address but because of uh, some network 
uh, connectivity issues it is not able to get the dscp ip that's the error message what we had seen it so now let's come out from this particular configuration and let's try to look at the network adapters now if you look at the network adapters what do we see that we do see that there is a vm nic 3 which is currently being used to assign ip address to our esxi host so if you do see that this particular esxi host is actually having a four network adapters which are named as vmnic 0 1 2 3 and if you do see that the first three adapters are having a status as connected which means that they are in up state but the last one which is vmnic 3 it is actually in a disconnected state so there is some issue with your vmnic 3 that clearly identified here and another point if you do notice that what it says that currently your ESXi host is requesting DSCP IP or it is trying to reach out to the DSCP server using the VMNIC3. Why? Because there is a X sign which clearly tells us that currently this particular NIC is in use to reach out to the DSCP server. But the problem, what do we see it here that the NIC, what ESXi is connected with is actually in a disconnected state. So now that seems to be a, a exact issue and because of which I think our ESXi host is not able to get the IP address. Now we can go and debug further about this particular issue. So let's do one thing. Let's cancel this wizard. Let's go back to our DCUI troubleshooting options and let's enable the ESXi shell because we want to log into our ESXi shell. So as you could see that I have enabled ESXi shell right here so that we can log into our ESXi console. So let's log into our ESXi console. That's our ESXi console. Let's provide the password of our root user. And as you could see that we are successfully logged into our ESXi console. Now let's execute the command ESXCFG next hyphen L and look at this particular command. And it tells us very clearly that this particular VM NIC3 is actually down. Right, so out of four adapters, this adapter is down, and it could be down because of n number of reasons. Maybe your switch port is down, or maybe that particular uh, VMNIC3 adapter cable is unplugged, or that could be any of the reason. Now let's look at the switch configuration. So execute the command ESXCFG vSwitch hyphen L and look at that. This is our virtual switch zero which is having a management network port group configured. So our management network port group is actually configured on vSwitch 0 and this vSwitch 0 is actually connected. And this vSwitch 0 is having a uplink as VMNIC 3 and this VMNIC 3 is in down state. So that is the exact problem. Because of this faulty adapter, our ESXi host is not able to participate in a network and it's not able to reach out to the DSCP server to receive the to receive the DSCP IP. So now what we have to do, we have to go and rectify this particular issue. So what we can do, we can actually change this mapping. So as you could see that it's connected with the VMNIC 3, but we know that there is a VMNIC 0 to VMNIC 2 and these adapters are in up state. So what we can do, we can actually go and assign a right uplink to our virtual switch zero because sometimes it might happen that uh, when you do the ESXi deployment, you might have done the wrong uplink configuration to your virtual switch and because of which your ESXi host is not getting the right IP address. Now that could be a number of reasons to rectify this issue. The first is either you go and figure it out why this VMNIC3 adapter is down. If it's an issue with your physical networking team, then go and check the physical switch port, check whether the port is administratively down or not, or maybe look at the cable. This could be uh, three reasons because of which your uh, adapter is down. And the other reasons could be that maybe uh, we just executed some command uh, to uh, down this particular VMNIC3 adapter. So for demonstration purpose or for this particular uh, a lecture, I actually uh, put this VMNIC3 adapter into the down state by executing some command. So let's go and try to fix this issue. So there are two ways to fix this, fix this issue. Either you change the mapping to a different uplink or you can bring this VMNIC3 adapter into the upstate. So I can actually bring this adapter into upstate by executing the command ESXCLI 
and look at the next string what we can provide it here is next parameter we can provide it here as network so let's try to provide this command esxcli network nick up hyphen n vm nick 3 and as you could see that this command has been executed successfully so now let's execute the command again esxcfg nick hyphen l and look at that it says that our vm nick 3 is in upstate now so now we have rectified our vmnic3 connectivity issue by bringing it up or by bringing it into the upstate so now let's go back to our dcui console again and now let's go back to our configure management network or click on restart management network click on f11 and as you could see that it is stopping the management network and it is going to restart it again and look at that the network has been restarted press enter key click on configure management network and look at that now what it says that it clearly tells us that network identity acquired from dscp server as soon as we rectify the vmnic3 connectivity issue we could see that our esxi successfully participate in a networking it reach out to the dscp server and get the right dscp server ip and that is the ip address of our esxi host and that is the ip address of our dscp server so now let's come back from this view and you will see that this is the ip address of our esxi host 172.20.13.200 and now if you want to validate whether your esxi host has restored all the network connectivity or not there's a option which you can actually go and give a try in troubleshooting we have a something called test management network so click on test management network and you can specify your uh, gateway ip or maybe uh, your dns server ip just to make sure that your esxi host after receiving the ip it is into the network so i have just defined dscp server ip as you could see that and some of the other ips and the domain name as well press enter key and you will see that this interface itself will be doing this uh, uh, connectivity test and making sure that everything looks good so now as you could see that our esxi host is able to reach out to our dscp server it is able to reach out to our other peer device dns server and it is able to resolve the name as well so now everything looks good from the esxi host configuration perspective so now that's the first thing you should be doing it as soon as you go and do the esxi deployment and that's my recommendation to everyone that as soon as you go and deploy your esxi host or install your esxi host very first time first make sure that it has assigned the right ip and after assigning that uh, ip always go to the test management network and try to validate your esxi host network connectivity from this test management network interface itself and that interface is present right there in our dcui console and once all the network validity connect connection is done for example your gateway ip is pingable your dns ip is pingable and your host name is being resolved then we are can be we can be assured that our esxi host has been configured correctly this concludes our lecture on how do we go and troubleshoot basic management network connectivity issues in our vSphere environment we have learned that how a faulty network adapter or maybe your uh, cable plugged or unplugged issues might cause network reachability issues with our esxi server because it does not have any valid ip address if you have interest in learning vmware more in depth not from an administration perspective but from the architect or consulting perspective, then join our VMware vSphere Zero to Hero Data Center Expert Program. This particular program has been highly rated by all of our learners. 100 plus careers have been transitioned successfully with our Zero to Hero Data Center Expert Deep Dive Program with the 100% placement record. Now, what are the key highlights of this program? As you could see that it's a India's first job ready vmware learning program which has a 70 hours of intense learning with the 80 plus hands-on labs 40 plus scenarios would be presented to a learner as a challenge questions to assess their learning we do have a mentors having a 15 years of experience and the certified professionals you would be getting opportunity to have a one-on-one in-person doubt clarification session with the vmware mentor 
and this particular zero to hero program will also preparing learners for l3 or senior level profiles now we have transitioned many careers with our deep dive program and you can see some of the feedbacks right here on your screen these are the feedbacks what we have received from all of our successful learners who has transitioned their career with us so what are you waiting for if you want to become vmware expert or want to master this technology then call us now today on the given number or maybe drop us email on the provided email address thank you